Thank you, Allison. And COVID-19 affecting other sports in our area. The season for more than a thousand cross country athletes is being held in the balance of upcoming COVID-19 test results. Leon County commissioners are requiring both high school and college runners get tested before competing next Saturday. ABC 27's Chantel Navarro joins us live from Appalachia Regional Park today where the FSU Invitational will be held. Chantel, some people are going to be missing out. Yeah, high schoolers are the most impacted by this, but soon all of Leon County could feel it too. And we've worked very hard to get that meet here, and so has this, um, County. Go Jack! After all the hard work, Leon County Schools Athletics Director Scott Hansen says hundreds of high schoolers likely won't be racing in the FSU Invitational October 3rd. And more than 1,100 athletes probably won't be running in the state meet in November, all because they can't get a 72-hour rapid test done. Put one blanket, everyone must be tested, is very difficult. The cost for all the state meet athletes would be about $30,000, but Hansen says it's about more than just the money. Hansen says it doesn't make sense that commissioners are instilling college level rules to high schoolers. This plan came from the ACC, from a college level, where they're over 18. We're talking about 14, 15, 16 year olds that are still under parent control. They don't have the right to go out and have their own tests done. So, and they're coming from all over. Some areas are not testing unless you're symptomatic. Kerry Post with Visit Tallahassee says the county understands what this means and the consequences to it, but they believe it's for people's safety. Certainly we do recognize because of that, that some teams and athletes will not be able to compete due to this requirement, but for right now, for this event, um, that is how it, it is. Post says the cross-country championship season alone brings in about $5 million to Leon. The fewer meets here, Post admits, the less money. And events being canceled would absolutely impact the $5 million that's, that's anticipated from a typical cross-country season. Hansen worries if commissioners don't take away this testing mandate, it won't just be cross-country athletes impacted. If that would, were to happen, we'd also probably have a chance of losing the football state championships we were doing in December because of the optics of it. If we can't do one and we can't do the other. Now, I just got new numbers just seconds ago, and it looks like from 1,200, the FSU Invitational is now at 700 athletes because of the testing mandate. They would lose close to 1,800 for the state championships, and in December, they would be in jeopardy of losing 2,400 athletes. Now, two things could still happen. This Tuesday, commissioners could still vote to take away that testing mandate and be influenced by the governor's order rolling into phase three or on the 13th meeting. They could also look back at how the competition went and change things from there. But for now, in Tallahassee, Chantal Navarro, ABC 27.